Hi, this is Frederick from Detroit Berlin, YouTube channel Detroit Berlin. Welcome to this video. Today we're going to take a look at the A101-2, the low pass gate from Dörfer. And the low pass gate is a low pass filter and a VCA combined. It's actually a Vectral low pass gate the way it works and yeah I had a patch running on the matriarch the matriarch the oscillators going into the low pass gate and then going to the VCA of the matriarch a little bit delay on it and yeah it has to my opinion a really nice sound I'm doing some tricks with the analog trigger sequencer from Duffer. I'm actually switching between the low pass function and the VCA function of the low pass gate by sending gate signals to these G1 and G2 inputs. So what this does is you can create with a sequence and with adding resonance and switching between filter mode and VCA mode you can yeah make it very rhythmical and very powerful and that is what I was doing right now so let's first go over the patch it's pretty simple then go over the module all the knobs all the functions of the module let's take a quick look at this patch and how it sounds. I'm gonna take my headphones. Let's recreate this patch I just had running. The sequencer is running but turn down the oscillators and the noise. Removed some cables from the low pass gate. And let's see, let's bring in the noise and let's put it in low pass mode so normally this is just working like a filter sound is muffled getting brighter and brighter and brighter which gives the impression that it's silent and goes louder and louder in VCA mode, it's just like a VCA. It's silent and it doesn't have this muffled, low passed feeling like the low pass does. And in combined mode, it's silent, totally silent. It doesn't have the low rumble down there. And when I turn it up, It gets brighter and it gets louder so it's the combined state of the low pass and the VCA so let's see let's listen to the noise a little bit I had this going in the CV control and it's just the ADSR from the matriarch giving these impulses to open the filter and the amplifier. So the more I close the filter and I add the control voltage of the ADSR, the snappier it gets. So this is let me turn it down. This is one part of the sequence that I had going. Then I also have the control voltage from the pitch from the sequence and this is going into control voltage number two which is attenuated right here. So when it's triggering low it actually goes into the negative voltage when triggering high in the, into the positive. So 
So it's a little bit modulated, not to a big extent. Let's see. So you can kind of, you can actually play it, but that's not the purpose. So let's go back. Let's induce a little bit of resonance. And let's play with the switch. In combined mode, the resonance is like this almost wind kind of sound. Pretty under control. Gonna turn the resonance down and put it in low pass mode. It's much more pronounced and it really starts to squeak when you go further clockwise and in VCA mode the resonance controls a little bit kind of the volume to a certain extent. So let's turn that down and what I think is brilliant. I have trigger sequence going and it sometimes triggers and when it sometimes triggers I can actually it's labeled here G1 and G2 G1 high voltage low voltage low voltage corresponds to yeah the high voltage together with the G2 low voltage is the low pass mode so if I plug only the G1 in the G2 yeah has a low voltage because there's no voltage no gate going in and in a G1 you got the high voltage so it's turning it into a low pass If I add the same gate to the G2, then it will become a VCA because G1 low voltage and G2 high voltage with the gate becomes a VCA. So no resonance, no filtering, only the opening of, yeah, the VCA and when both have low voltages it's the combined so yeah every time the voltage doesn't trigger the both voltages are low and that means that it's the combined function so it has less of a resonance to it so that means that you can play around with switching it to low pass and having this resonance peak at the triggers of the gates of the sequence and if you take a second sequence like I have right here then you can also make it into a VCA at times. So when I add this, it becomes a VCA 
in one rhythm and the other rhythm makes it a low pass so it's switching in a very rhythmical way between those two and probably you can audio modulate that let's try You can audio modulate that. Pretty noisy. Let's add this ADSR back in. With the ADSR having a real snap to it, you can make it sound like a kick drum. And in my opinion, a pretty nice kick drum. So, every bottom sequence is triggering the low pass gate as a VCA. Every high sequence I have there Going into the G1 is making a kind of kick sound because the resonance is peaking and at the moment that the resonance is peaking the filter is like opening and closing very snappy. So this is one part of that sequence and then I also had the bass patch going. So the oscillators, they make it, yeah, really nice. And let's turn up the resonance again so we get this kick drum kind of sound. And let's bring the noise back in for this nice rhythmical snappy snare kind of sound. So, yeah, I think that opens up so many possibilities. So let's go over the module, the inputs, outputs, knobs and switches. So from top to bottom, we have a CV input for the filter or the amplifier or the combined filter and amplifier. Uh, frequency and volume knob which is this one so in filter mode it's a frequency and in amplifier mode in amplitude mode it's um, kind of an attenuator further clockwise it increases the volume and all the way down it yeah silences the sound it totally attenuates the sound to yeah zero then we got cv in two so both of these control the filter frequency and the volume of the amplifier and this one the second one it's actually attenuatable uh, so you can attenuate it by yeah this means 100 percent like the first one so 100 percent of the control voltage whether it be positive or negative will go to this one and when you turn it yeah halfway it will be 50 percent all the way down yeah it 
just puts it to zero and you won't have anything affecting this knob from this input. So if you have multiple and you need to attenuate one of those, just send it to the second one in and then you have nice control. If you have like an ADSR, you can slightly open it, slightly close it, the filter or the amplifier by only giving a little bit of yeah, attenuation to the incoming signal. So you have the CV1 and 2 inputs, then you got the audio input which has a level control. So when you open it all the way up, the signal going in is not attenuated, all the way down, yeah, the signal is fully attenuated and you have no signal at all. With some filters you need to turn the level down to actually be able to hear the resonance really loud. And with this one I think it's, yeah, you don't have to turn the level down to get that really powerful self-oscillating resonance. Then you got the audio output and next to the audio output is the resonance knob. All the way down, no resonance, all the way up, a high amount of resonance. In low pass mode it's more pronounced than in low pass slash VCA mode because it combines both modes and in VCA mode you don't hear any resonance, so yeah, combined mode it's kind of in between. You still hear pretty much resonance, uh, but it's less pronounced. Then you got the G1 input and G2 input. These inputs accept voltages and when you have a voltage, when you put some kind of voltage in there, it will select which mode it is currently in. You got the function, the switch, which goes low pass all the way to the left. Then in the middle you got the combined low pass and VCA. And when you put it all the way up, you got only the VCA, so you have three functions. It's in my system for a pretty long time now and I think I kind of underuse it because it's kind of a special module. It's not entirely like the bread and butter that a normal filter is. You got only the filtering. You also got the VCA combined mode so it's a little bit more complex. It's not complex at all but a little bit more than just a regular filter and I've been I think underusing it because the sound of the Vactrol uh, low pass gate is actually pretty nice especially when you tweak that resonance and you want a more gritty aggressive kind of sound. It, it has some grit to it and not to an extent that it becomes ugly. No, it just it sounds really nice and gritty and full of character. So in my opinion that's a really nice filter and yep also a VCA so if you seek to combine a little system and you want and a filter and you need a VCA, then yeah, that's a pretty good option. Going in from the matriarch, then getting the output to the matriarch again. And let's also in control voltage to input the ADSR from the matriarch and yeah let's create a patch. Let's start with one oscillator and I hear nothing because let's turn the level 
to about 7. Let's select a pulse, actually a square wave. Maybe let's combine it with a second oscillator with a pulse. Okay. Let's add some resonance. It's pretty smooth and when you turn the resonance up uh, to a pretty extensive amount then it gets this pretty nice peak in the combined mode. I'm going to turn the resonance down, do the same, I'm going to switch to the low pass mode. Now the resonance is really very apparent. The growl of the filter's resonance when you go lower and lower is pretty apparent. And the higher you go, the less the resonance becomes so gritty. It becomes smoother and more, I wouldn't say silky, but still not that gritty as when you yeah, play it very low. Let's play a little bit with how the filter reacts. Put it in VCA mode. make a polyphonic paraphonic uh, patch so let's see let's put it all on square maybe let's turn up all the oscillators
It has a lot of character. Let's turn down the resonance and only listen. Yeah, slight resonance. I think it's pretty sounding. Uh, let's add some like this. Okay, it's... Very nice. Really screams. It screams nicely, I would say. Maybe turn it down a little bit. I think it has a very warm, very analog feeling to yeah the filter. And uh, let's put on a sequence again. Okay, and uh, let's see. what it will do when both are in high mode. So this makes it a VCA.
this will make it a low pass, increasing the resonance, I assume. Okay. So let's make it a VCA again. So this is pretty interesting. When both are in high position, it's like a VCA, but louder. That's pretty, pretty apparent. So let's see how everything reacts. Let's maybe turn the level down. Resonance doesn't do too much. So not really too different from gets a little bit brighter. So it gets a little bit brighter, let's turn it off, yeah, it doesn't have too much benefits from sending both high voltages to the G1 and G2 input, I think it might stand for gate 1 and gate 2. You can send anything to it as long as it has a control voltage higher than yeah, zero volt. It will switch the module to yeah, the selected function. And I think it, it can't hurt to send both high voltages. You get a little bit boost in volume maybe and some some it, it sounds a little tiny tad bit brighter so yeah send gates to the unit in um, nice rhythms and add some resonance and you got a really nice rhythmical kind of patch going like I did yeah before and you can also yeah use it as a regular VCA or a filter and as a filter I think it sounds very gritty in the bottom end and it becomes more um, smooth in the high end it, it really shines in the high end I would say I really like that sound should the low end be a little bit more toned down maybe? Yeah, the, the filter wouldn't have the character that it has right now, but that would be, I think, if it has the same sweetness to the sound also in the bottom end as in the high end, then yeah, I think that would be really nice. Uh, but overall, I think this is a brilliant filter you get much for the space that it needs and the character that it brings to your modular. So I really would like to thank you for watching. Please like the video, subscribe to the page if you haven't already and I also got a Patreon page so you can join me on Patreon if you want to support me more helping me on this modular journey. Put so much time and effort in these videos and yeah, I hope you really like them and I would say see you soon. Bye bye.